What is a search lost impression share due to rank in Google Ads? How does it work? And what, what impact is search lost impression share going to have on your Google Ads account? It's absolutely, it's one of these metrics that a lot of people either don't know about or don't use enough of. And then they wonder, hey, why, why isn't our campaign working? And why is our competitor's campaign working a lot better than ours? Now, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video. Before I do, my name is AJ Duna. I'm a Google Ads expert. So I've been in, the, in this industry for long enough to know these types of things. What I'd love you to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications. So when I do create new content, you'll be the first to be notified. And at the same time, if you've got any questions about Google Ads, you know, put them in the, in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you uh, to see what your questions are and I will get back to you and I will create more content like this. So what is search lost impression share due to rank? Essentially, it's a metric, a percentage metric, which shows you how many times your ad has not been shown on the Google page due to your ranking factor, which we will go into very shortly. So now let's jump into a campaign. So here I have a campaign and uh, I'm gonna click on campaigns. And then what you want to do, you want to add the column. You want to click on columns here and then you want to click on modify columns. And then you want to go into competitive metrics over here. And then you want to tick this box here, which is search lost impression share due to rank. So put a tick in that box and click on apply. And what you'll find is on the right hand side here, you'll see that column which shows search lost impression share due to rank. So what it's showing is that this campaign in general is, um, is not being shown on the Google page uh, about 6% of the time during this date period. And this campaign over here is not being shown 1.47% uh, of the time. So in other words, on average, my ads are not being shown about 3.42% of the time. Now do take into account, uh, this account that I'm showing you is a demonstration account. So don't go by these figures, but it is purely to demonstrate what I'm, what I'm talking about. Now, that raises the question that, what is a good search lost impression share? So a good search lost impression share is around about 30% or even worst case, 40%. If you're getting 50%, 60%, uh, search lost impression share, you know there's something seriously uh, wrong or you've got to do something about it. So the way you calculate your search lost impression share is a simple mathematical formula, which means by, which is the impressions that you've received compared to the total eligible quota of the impressions that you could have received. So once you, once you divide the two, that gives you your search lost impression share due to rank. Now we come on to the question that, what are the aspects that determine your search lost impression share? And there are three main factors that determine your search lost impression share. Number one is your bidding strategy. So what type of bidding strategy are you using? Number two is the, the quality of your ads. And number three is your assets. So let's talk about all these. Your bidding strategy. So what, so, if you're using a smart bidding strategy, then what I would say, like for example, if you're using maximized conversions or you're using uh, maximized target impression share, so any type of or any, any type of bid strategy whereby you're letting the algorithm do as much as possible, I would not worry too much about the uh, search lost impression share because you know the algorithm is doing that because it's trying to get you the best results possible and it's trying to put your ads in front of those people that are more likely to buy from you. However, there are the other two that you can then be looking at. The second uh, uh, one of the, the second main factor is your ads themselves. So if you jump into the campaign, what I would make sure that you do is try to wherever possible make sure that you're following the best practices and you look at your ads and you look at the ad strength here. So if I look at this ad here, you can see that the, the ad strength is average. And what that means is that, hey, there's scope to include, uh, it to improve your headline. And over here, it's giving a few recommendations, like you can add more headlines, you can use more 
popular keywords in your headlines, you can make your headlines more unique or you can make your descriptions more unique. So if you scroll down, so what we want to do is that we want to make sure that the keywords that, uh, that are used or the headlines that are used are very relevant to the, um, the ad group uh, which contains the keywords that we have. So you need to work on this, right, uh, so, so that you can increase this to good or excellent. And that will then affect your search lost impression share due to ranking. So there's, you can click your headlines, you can look at your uh, display paths, and then at the bottom, you can look at your description lines as well. So you can have up to four description lines, all of which will make an impact as to the quality of the ad that, uh, that, that you've, you've created. And likewise, on the right-hand side, you can always take a look at what your ads might look like, both on desktop and on, on mobile as well. So the third aspect we, we, we talked about was your assets. And now assets, obviously, previously used to be called extensions. So let's jump into this. I'm going to close this campaign. And we're going to click on assets here. So what you can see is that this, uh, th this account hasn't got any uh, assets that it's using. So that's probably one of the main reasons why on, an, on a real running account, the search loss impression share might be 40, 50, 60%. So what you need to do, you need to work that you need to work through these and make sure that you've got them adequately populated with quality data. For example, you can click on site link and then you can click on the plus symbol here and add your site links. Um, and then you can click on your call outs and make sure you've got good call outs and call outs are, hey, why would people click on your ad compared to your competitor's ad? So try not to uh, try not to put too much generic stuff, try to make something that's going to make yourself a bit more unique. But I'm not going to go through all these now because what I'm going to do, is, if you do subscribe to this channel, I will be creating a more up-to-date video about assets and how to use them or what impact they have on your account and which assets you should be using in order to help uh, improve the efficiency of your account and so you get more exposure, you get more impressions on, 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 on the Google Ads account. Um, and you get uh, a better ROI or ro ROAS. So click on the link below, um, the, the, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button. So when I do create new content, especially in this case about uh, ads, which used to be called extensions, then you, know, you will be the first to be notified. The last point I want to make on this is that, hey, people might say, so isn't it good to have zero, another zero percent, search lost due to impression share, uh, search lost impression share due to rank? And the answer is no, it's not a good idea to have zero because then you're talking about, you're just pleasing a metric at the end of the day. Now, what we want to make sure is that if your ad is not relevant to someone, I'd rather it not be shown. I'd rather be not even appear, my ad appear on the Google page at all. You only want to be showing your ads that are more likely to convert into an inquiry or into a sale or into a lead. And if for whatever reason the algorithm feels that the, this user is, is unlikely to convert or you feel that, hey, you know, I don't want to just get a uh, lower percentage rate just for the sake of it, don't work on it too hard, right? Because all that will happen is that you'll please the system so that uh, on, on, on your metrics, you might look like you've got brilliant uh, search, in, search impression share uh, lost due to rank. But in actual fact, your business will start suffering because it, your, the ads that you're showing could be not highly targeted or well-written or the bidding strategy could be wrong or you might be using misleading uh, assets and so on. That's it, guys. And at the same time, uh, there'll be a link somewhere below, the, below this video. I've recently authored a book called How to Win Customers with Google Ads. There'll be links somewhere below. So get that book shipped to your door for free. We have covered the, the price of getting the book written. And all you've got to do is to cover the postage and packaging. There'll be a link down, uh, down below this video. It's on www.howtowincustomers.com. I look forward to seeing you on another video. Goodbye for now.